start at the very front. So here's our booth. So one thing that we found very helpful is mannequins. And we got these mannequins on a JCPenney's closing sale. So they were super inexpensive. And everything that we have on the mannequins, people gravitate towards. So they'll see this shirt, they're like, oh, that's really cute on, where is it at in here? And then they'll go through, they'll shop around and find it right there. Another thing that I find extremely helpful is having signs up whenever the price is not showing. So like these, we don't have any price tags on them at all, so we have a little frame showing the price. Keeps it clean so that they don't have to pull off the sticker as well. Now these we do have pricing on the back and right here. They can see the pricing very easily. We have this little clear ceramic sign. People take pictures of this all the time. Especially with it being hot out here, people don't like to spend too much time in one spot. So I've seen a lot of people take pictures of this because they like our stuff, but may not have time to sit and look through everything. Or maybe we don't have the size right then and there, so they'll take a picture and then whenever we restock, they'll um, see that on our social media. <clears throat> we also display some of our necklaces. This is our half mannequin. We have one of our bralettes, um, our necklace and a hat above it. That flows really nicely together. Going over here, we like to think, we like to theme everything. So this is technically our color side. And then the other side is our black and white side. But we'll just mix and mingle all types of clothing. So we have jackets, we have t-shirts, we have nice blouses, um, some just regular t-shirts. And then our new spring dress. I'm obsessed with this dress. So pretty. This one too. It's like perfect for like a cruise, night dinner. Then we also have these, um, what am I trying to say? So we have a hanging mannequin right here that displays this cute top. You can see that it's over here. It buttons up all the way, but you don't have to button it have a mirror for people to try on things if they wanted to. Then we have our sweater area. So we made one rack that is our sell rack. So at this market we are doing 50% off of our sweaters. Um, the reason for that is because these are from December and we want to make sure that we get rid of some of the things so that we can restock and make new um, have new products for this coming up season. And we do have a couple of ones in here that we have left. And we do try and color coordinate so all of our leopard things are here. Yeah, that's this side. Have some of our best sellers in the front. Our bougie bougie. Now I have this rack, it's absolutely beautiful, but we absolutely hate it at the same time. It's very wobbly, so we have to toggle it. Um, but it still works out. This rack. And on this side, we have it where we can see the jewelry from where we sit, because they are smaller items, so it's very easy for people just to pick up and put in their purse if they wanted to. So we always have it in our view, which I recommend doing that if you do come to market. And to display our accessories, I got this at a closing for Justice, in the little girl store. Um, they were getting rid of this. And all of our fixtures we actually got from a JCPenney closing sale, a guy on Facebook, or just like any sort of store closing. <laughs> also carrying some small, um, 
some local small businesses their products to try and get their brand out there. And this is our black and white side, keeping it with the color scheme. We have these little shelves that connect. All of our hats displayed. These are very helpful because it just allows a lot more room for hanging. Have our cute little dog toys. Here's some more display ideas. These are little ornaments, they're super cute. We have one up here as well. And yeah, we're here at McKinney Trade Days. We have all the other vendors set up. We're right here. We definitely could have gotten two booths. I don't even know if anybody's setting up right here, but it's day one, so technically people don't have to set up. Working on setting this up, we have our iPad, card scanner, phone has Wi-Fi right now, and my phone. Some hats we still have to put out, and then our wrapping station. So we got the tissues, the little bags, some barcodes, and our bags. And then in this box we have really just extras of stuff in case we need it. And that's all. So one thing I highly recommend, it's the middle of summer and it is July, I highly recommend getting a portable fan. This one's from Target. I got it for $35. Took six batteries has different speeds um, and then you can also tilt it up or down so I just have it on the table it's keeping us nice and cool but we can be ready for our customers well it is Sunday and the hard reality of outdoor boutique owning pop-up shops that there's rain <laughs> There's rain. Hey, I curled my hair today. <laughs> she curled her hair today. All of us vendors out here are getting soaked. We just moved everything to where it's not getting wet. We're having a bad hair day. But you know what? We're set up. We're going to make more money than we would have not set up. So, I guess we'll just wait till this passes. We, it's a good day. It's gonna be a good day.